Hi everyone, see the next example and maxima and minima. Find the maxima and minima of the function x cube plus 3xy square minus 3x square minus 3y square plus 4. Clearly, this function has two variables. So, first of all, give the name as f of x comma y. So, let f of x comma y is equal to x cube plus 3xy square minus 3x square minus 3y square plus 4. Take it equation number 1. So, to get the maxima and minima, first of all, we have to find out the stationary points. Before that, finding stationary points, find out first order and second order partial derivatives, which are represented by P, Q, already know it, P, Q, R, S, T. We have to find out these all things. So, what is P? Do f by do x. In this case, except x remaining are all constants. So, just to take the derivatives with respect to x only, of x terms with respect to x only. Derivative of x cube with respect to x is 3x square. And uh, derivative of x with respect to x is 1. 3 y square are constants which are in product. So, do not disturb that terms. You have to write 3 y square as usually. Derivative of x is 1, 3 y square into 1 is only 3 y square minus x square is again variable whose derivative is 2 x, 2 3s are 6 x, 3 y square is uh, entire, entirely in terms of y, so it is constant whose partial derivative with respect to x is 0, 4 is already constant whose derivative with respect to x is 0. Now q, just finding partial derivatives is very very important, dou f by dou y. In this case, only y terms are variables, x terms are constant, that is why partial derivative of x cube with respect to y is 0 and the derivative of y square is 2y, but already 3x is there. So, 3x into 2y, it would be 6xy minus 3x square is entirely in terms of x whose partial derivative with respect to y is 0. I do not want to write 0 in addition, otherwise subtraction because 0 does not have any value. And derivative of 3y square with respect to y is 3 into 2y, it would be 6y. And partial derivative of 4 with respect to y is also 0. And uh, what is r? Do square f by do x square. Already first order partial derivative is here. So, for this we have to take another partial derivative with respect to x. So, derivative of 3x square with respect to x is 3 into 2x, it would be 6x. This would be constant. Derivative of 6x with respect to x is just 6. Minus sign is there. That is why I am writing minus here. And now what is s? Do square f by do x do y. So, do by do x of do f by do y. What is do f by do y? This one. It is q. So, do by do q by do x. So, it is enough to take partial derivative of q with respect to x. What is q? 6xy minus 6y. By taking partial derivative with respect to x, 6y is constant and derivative of 6y, 6xy is 6y. Derivative of x with respect to x is 1. 6 into 1 into y. Okay. I hope you are all understand the partial derivatives. So, basic knowledge of partial derivatives is very, very important thing. And next, dou square of by dou y square. Already q is there, which is partial first order partial derivative of f with respect to y. For this, take partial derivative with respect to y. So, 6x is there and 6y is there. So, partial derivative of y with respect to y is 1. So, 6x is there, 6x into 1, 6x. Partial derivative of 6y with respect to y is 6. That is why I am writing 6x minus 6. Sometimes you may get r and t are same. Okay. Now, we have to find out the stationary points. For stationary points, take first order partial derivatives to 0, p is equal to 0 and q is equal to 0 because p and q are slopes, slopes of the given, given curve. When slopes are equal to 0, then only you are getting the stationary points otherwise turning points. What are they? P is nothing but 3x square 
plus 3y square minus 6x is equal to 0 and another equation is q is equal to 0. It would be 6xy minus 6y is equal to 0. Okay. So, here 3 is the common term, you can take 3 as common term, you will get x square plus y square, here you will get minus 2x, minus 2x is equal to 0, take it equation number 2 and what is the another equation here, 6 is the common term. So, if you take 6 as common term and if you take this, uh, if you send this 6 to right side, you will get 0 by 6 which is 0. So, simply you are getting x y minus y is equal to 0. We have to solve this both equations for stationary values. Take it equation number 3. So, here we are observing that in both parts y is the common term. So, y into x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, y is equal to 0, x minus 1 is equal to 0 means x is equal to 1. According to the algebraic properties, if the product of two factors is equal to 0, then we have to equate each factor is equal to 0. So, y into x minus 1 is equal to 0, then y is equal to 0 and x is equal to x minus 1 is equal to 0. If x minus 1 is equal to 0, then x value is 1. So, y has z, y has 1 value and x has 1 value. So, substitute into if y is equal to 0, then 1 implies replace y is equal to 0 here. You are getting x square plus 0 minus 2x is equal to 0. So, x square minus 2x is equal to 0, x is common term, x minus 2 is equal to 0. If you take x as a common term, remaining term is x. If you take x as common term, remaining term is minus 2. So, x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 2. Okay. So, what is the conclusion? If y is equal to 0, then x is 0. If y is equal to 0, then sorry, this is not y, this is x. Unfortunately, I wrote as y, but it is x. x is equal to 0 and x is equal to. So, what are the corresponding stationary points? 0, 0, 0, 0 and 2, 0. So, are the stationary points. Since, since we are getting two values for x when y is equal to 0, that is we are getting two stationary points corresponding to y is equal to 0. Here we have another one also, x is equal to 1. If x is equal to 1, substitute this x is equal to 1 in equation number 2. This is not 1, this is 2. Okay. So, by substituting x is equal to 1 in equation number 2, you are getting 1 plus y square minus 2 times of 1 is equal to 0. So, what is uh, 1 minus 2 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, y square is equal to 1. So, y is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. Y is equal to, if y square is equal to 1, then y is equal to plus or minus 1. Okay. So, however, we are understanding that if x is equal to 1, then y has two values, 1, 1. So, from this part, we are observing that 1 comma minus 1 comma plus or minus 1 are also stationary points. Okay. 1 comma plus or minus 1 are also stationary points. So, finally, how many stationary points we got here? 0, 0. 2 comma 0 and 1 comma plus 1, 1 comma minus 1. Totally we have 4 stationary points. Okay. At these stationary points, in each case we have to find out the given function has a maximum, otherwise minimum at that stationary points. See. See the case 1. So, case 1 is take the first stationary points at a 0 comma 0 at a 0 comma 0 find out the values of r s t also we have to find out r t minus s square replace 0 0 in the value of r s t and also calculate r t minus s square what is r value earlier in the starting we are finding r value we got as 6 x minus 6 i think 
So, replace x is equal to 0. This is x coordinate and y coordinate. So, 6, 6 into 0, 0, 0 minus 6, minus 6, it would be negative. And what is s value? We, we obtained s value as 6y, but y is 0, so you are getting 0. What is t? I think we are getting r and t are same. So, 6x minus 6, it would be 0 minus 6, it would be minus 6. So, what is RT minus S square? Minus 6 into minus 6 plus 36, 6 square minus S square, it would be 0 square. So, 36, it would be positive. We are observing that. What is the observation here? We are observing that RT minus S square is positive, but R is negative. So, given function f of x comma y has maximum has maximum at the point 0 0 nothing but it is origin so from 1 implies we can easily obtain the that maximum value at 0 0 so 1 implies what is f of x y once you can copy the given function here so it would be x cube plus 3 x y square minus 3x square minus 3y square plus 4. So, from this equation f maximum at 0, 0 is equal to it is 0, it is 0, it is 0, it is 0, it is 4. So, highlight with your box. We are concluding that among the four stationary points at the first stationary point 0, 0 given function has maximum and that maximum value is 4. Okay. Now, take the case 2. In the case 2, we have to consider the stationary point 2 comma 0. I will write the case 2 here at uh, 2 comma 0. So, uh, x coordinate is 2, y coordinate is 0. What is r value? r is 6x minus 6. At the starting of the problem, we are finding all p, q, r, s, t. So, at that place, we are getting r value as 6x minus 6. What is x value here? 2. 6 2s are 12, 12 minus 6, it is 6 which is positive, what is s value, it is 6 y, so 6 into 0, y coordinate is 0 here, so it is 0, what is t, again it is 6 x minus 6, it would be 6, 6, uh, so, uh, 6 2s are 12, 12 minus 6, so what is rt minus s square, rt minus s square is 6 into 6, 36 minus 0, it is positive. So, what is the observations here? We are observing that RT minus S square is positive, but R is also positive. In earlier case, R is negative. That is why here we conclude that F of XY has maximum. So, here F of X comma Y has minimum both are positive then function has a minimum at the stationary point 2 comma 0 we have to find out that minimum value at 2 comma 0 by using the given function one given function okay replace x is equal to and y is equal to 0 see i will find out here see so one implies f minimum value at a that point stationary point 2 comma 0 is already here uh, we have the function x cube what is x value 2 so it would be 8 y is 0 that is why second term is 0 minus 3 times of x square x is nothing but 2 2 square it would be 4 3 4s are 12 and again we have 0 plus 4 so 12 minus 12 so, we got the minimum value of the function at 2 comma 0 is 0, ok. You may get any value, ok. Now, case 3, we have to find out case 3. So, what are the remaining stationary points? We got remaining stationary points are 1, 1 and 1 comma minus 1. Here at a time, we will complete the both points C at 1 comma plus or minus 1. What is R value? 6x minus 6. Here x coordinate is 1. So, 6 minus 6 is 0 and what is s? 6 y. What is y coordinate? Plus or minus 1. So, you are getting plus or minus 6. What is t value? Again, it is 6 minus 6. So, so you are getting x is 1, 
so 6 minus 6 is equal to 0. So what is RT minus S square? So 0, both R and T both are 0, 0 into 0, 0, minus plus or minus 6 whole square. Since it has square, whether base is plus or minus, you are getting positive 36. But already we have negative sign here. So it would be negative 36. Okay, we are observing that RT minus S square is 0. Please write the conclusion this side. So RT minus S square is negative. Then we conclude that f of x comma y has neither maximum nor minimum at a 1 plus or minus 1. So it means that given function does not has either maximum and minimum, it does not has both. So that point 1 plus or minus 1 is called saddle point. Okay. Suppose f of x comma y does not has both maximum and minimum at a point, at a stationary point, then uh, that stationary point is called saddle point, do not forget it. So in this way students have to complete the problem in our examinations. So feel free to ask any doubts through my whatsapp number otherwise you can drop a message in the chat box of the YouTube, I clear, surely I will clear your doubt. Thank you very much.